blockage in his heart. And he went to his doctor. He told the doctor, hey, doc, what can I do about this blockage? The doctor told him that, hey, listen, you can do surgery. And he said, is surgery going to solve the problem? The doctor said, maybe. And that wasn't the, the, the answer that Samuel wanted. So he went home, he did his research, and he decided that he was going to go to the Cleveland Clinic. Now, at the Cleveland Clinic, there's a doctor by the name of Dr. Esselstein. He treats and helps to reverse heart disease in, in cases that are have extreme, in individuals who have extreme heart disease. So with Samuel Jackson, his doctor was getting ready to do a surgery when he was going to have his chest cut open, open heart surgery. So this is a serious case. So what Dr. Esselstein does to treat his patients, he puts them on a very strict vegan diet. No oil, no beets of any form. Everything is all vegetables. And within six months of being under the tutelage and under the care of Dr. Esselstein at the Cleveland Clinic, he had no more blockage in his artery, okay? And I want you guys to understand the severity of a blocked artery. If you, let's say that this is your artery and the blood is supposed to flow through that. If that artery is blocked because of saturated fat, the saturated fat that you get from the meats that you eat, if it's completely blocked, then you will have a heart attack. Okay? So after six months, Samuel said that he slept better, he had more energy, right? He was able to unblock the blockage in his heart and he said listen i feel great i feel great about this and you know i'm going to continue with this derek you had a question yeah with that also with the blockage mm -hmm. you can also have pulmonary aneurysm yeah to your legs and that's the silent killer in america yeah um you, you, and that has a lot to do with blockage absolutely blockages are very very dangerous i, I would like to share this with you I, uh, Seven years ago, I was having problems with the Renault Limited, mm -hmm. and we're talking American artificial intelligence and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you know? Um, do, do you think Mr. Sheik? He said he had been a, a law vegan mm -hmm. since 1947. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! He's now in his late 90s, still alive. Yeah. Still alive. yeah. Still alive. Yeah. Still alive. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. That's well, interesting. That is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Venus and uh, Serena Williams are the, by far one of some of the greatest female athletes in the world. Um, when I was reading about Venus Williams, she had an autoimmune condition back in 2011. And this autoimmune uh, condition was so debilitating and painful that she was considering retiring from tennis. And what she decided to do is she took some time off to study health, diet, nutrition, and see if there was ways that she could deal with that problem naturally. And she decided to go on a vegan diet. And as she went on the raw vegan diet, she noticed that she stopped feeling all of the excruciating pains that she was experiencing. And eventually, by adopting that raw vegan diet, she was able to get back to competition and, and getting back to form again. You know, And this was simply by changing her diet. Right. Her sister, uh, Venus, I'm um, sorry, her sister Serena had joined her. Now, when I did the research, Serena is not a full-time vegan. She does...